Yo, sapads. Um, today's video is going to be a good one. Um, I want to expand my CPU farming and uh, I know I haven't got to one giga hash yet and that's when I was going to expand into other coins, but I decided I'm just going to hop right into this one and today we are going to build our first Raptorium build. Um, I will go over all the parts that I purchased and then I won't show me putting it together but I will show you when I am in the BIOS. And yeah, um, so let's get this thing rolling. Let's just get going. I'm ready. I want to get I want to get this going. All right. So these are the parts that I picked uh, to build. Um, I went with the Ryzen 9 5950X. I know it's a little expensive and a little excessive, but I wanted to future proof myself in case you know another coin comes up or next cycle and i know this uh cpu will be good and the next part i went with was a i wish i went with a higher wattage um because possibly in the future i want to run two motherboards off of one power supply but for now this is fine well it's a 620 watt um 600 watts should be able to run two motherboards. I'm not too sure yet. And then we just got 16 gigs of 3200 mega or megahertz RAM. And I went with the MSI Gaming Gen 3 board. And, and you know what? I know these are old um, coolers. But they never let me down. They cool my they they cool my CPU rate or my Xeon rigs, and if they're able to cool my Xeon rigs, I 100% know they'll be able to easily cool my uh, AMD rig. So yeah, let's get this built. Um, I'm not gonna show myself building this because I am horrible at that. But once it's built, um, I will show you when I'm in the BIOS. Um, so something that I learned is uh, when you're setting up for Hive OS on certain boards, you want to go to your Windows configuration and you want to set it to UEFI mode. And then you want to go to Secure Boot and you want to disable that. And we go Escape, Escape. And on AMD boards, if you go to Power Management Setup, let's say you have a power outage, um, you can have it so it powers back on. So let's flash um, Hive onto a disc, and then uh, let's get this going. Also, one more thing I forgot. You want to go to Integrated Peripherals, and you want to go to VGA Detection, and you want to make sure that's on Ignore. Oh, I bought this little uh, GT610 uh, graphics card just for like setting up uh, motherboards because it doesn't require a VGA cable and it can yeah just plug in it doesn't need to do anything except for display on a monitor so it's perfect and it was only $30 so yeah uh, I would suggest if you're into motherboards or CPU mining with motherboards getting a cheap graphics card like this all right this will be my first boot up of Hive OS. Let's see if it works. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys can't really see it, but Hive OS is it's on there. So the first thing I like to do when I'm uh, setting up my rigs is I like to uh, open it up on the computer and I like to go to this link and this link right here seems to be the only commands that um, actually will install the drivers for t uh, TP links. Um, you might have to install Git sometimes when you install HiveOS. Other times you don't, but yeah, 
Uh, this website's very handy. I will link it in the bio. The bio. So the next thing I like to check is to make sure that like, you know, all the Wi-Fi settings that I did are working. So I will turn it on and we'll see if we pop up. And if we pop up, uh, I'll bring us back. <clears throat> so every, everything seems to be working. Um, now we're going to create a flight sheet. Uh, go to list, add flight sheet, RTM, uh, let's add wallet. We'll get our, put our wallet in there. And this is our RT, RTM wallet. Create. And I have no idea what pool I'm going to go to. So let's look up pools. Okay, well, let's just try the biggest pool first, and then uh, maybe later down the line, I will try other pools. Let's go flock pool, west, fly, um, XMR rig, set up config. Changes, create flight sheet, workers, now let's launch this bad boy. Let's see if it works. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I betcha. Got to select Ghost Rider here. By changes, update, all workers. Okay, there we go. Now we're working. Nice. Okay, cool. So now that I got this all set up, um, I'll show you what I'm doing next. N nice, we showed up on a flock pool, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's neat. Um, my next video will be a tour update of all everything I have here. I'll I'll tell you all about it on the tripod. But yeah, we're here. We are. We're on flock pool. So, neato burrito. Okay, so everything works, but I don't like that this power supply is not modular because this motherboard is gonna be sitting on this rack right here. And my buddy 3D printed me some feet and I feel like it would be hard to hide the cords when, uh, yeah, uh, there's all these other dangly cords. So I'm gonna go switch out power supplies from another rig. All right, there we go. Um, power supply has changed. So there's, you know, not all these, you know, non-modular cables hanging out. And um, unfortunately in this rack, uh, these two bottom racks will not be able to fit a motherboard. So I will have to repurpose this rack Later, I'll probably just use it for phones and I'll purchase a new rack. But the reason why I wanna get uh, my Raptorium farm out here, cause I wanna acquire more motherboards is, I never use my stove, but right in there, I have a, I have a 40 amp hookup and I'm, I would be able to run a uh, 50 amp to 30 amp converter and I could, yeah, I could run many, many CPU miners. So that is the future plan and this was just the start. 
that machine is actually profitable. Uh, I am getting six kilohash right now, which is freaking awesome. Um, I was expecting four kilohash, and when I punched in the TDP, you know, the estimated what would I get, I'd only get six cents a day. <laughs> but uh, I'm pushing six kilohash, so that's freaking sweet. I am ecstatic about that. So yeah, um, yeah. So in hindsight, like that miner should be mining Varus. Uh, that GPU, the 5950X, gets about 40 mega hash on Varus, and it would be way more profitable. But I am just trying to get set up for when I expand my Raptorium farm. Um, I showed the, the 40 amp hookup, and yeah, I just, I wanna get like, you know, <laughs> a mega farm going. And it, I'm kind of up, upset about that shelf that yeah, um, the boards couldn't fit in. Maybe I can get like a smaller AM4 board um, and we can fit that in. But I'm probably just gonna get a new shelf and I'll repurpose that one for phones uh, for Varus. And uh, yeah, this doesn't mean I'm going all in on Raptorium. This is just the beginning, the start. Um, it has a way lower market cap than Varus. So the chances of, uh, you know, uh, your, your money, you know, doubling, tripling, 100xing is a lot higher. And um, yeah, like I already said, they have a great dev team. And yeah, um, I, I just wanted to expand and uh, maybe get some Raptorium boys onto my channel. And uh, yeah. And uh, if you found this video interesting, give it a like and a subscribe. Um, <laughs> I'm... I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I'm kind of learning as I go. I I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what else? Uh, all my affiliate links will be down below. All the pieces that I use to build this rig uh, will be linked down below as well. Um, all the links to my social media are down below. And join my Discord. Uh, a lot of great dudes in there. Uh, some guys are developing things and uh, they're just a, people come to my Discord because of me to learn, they learned from me and now they out learnt me. <laughs> like they are way smarter than I am. So yeah, join the Discord, it's, it's great. And uh, yeah, my, uh, my next video is going to be a tour of everything I have mining in 2024. And uh, I'm waiting on one thing to do that video. And once that uh, one thing comes in, uh, I will launch it. And yeah, um, I will check you guys later.